We're going back to work, everyone. This is a go back to work vlog. Welcome. It's gonna be awesome. Happy New Day! Happy New Day! Woo! Happy Monday. To all you spoiler brats out there who also just had two weeks off. Corporate life. I'm a tradesman. He is a tradesman. <laughs> okay, I love this zit. It's really the vibe. I made it to lunchtime on my first Monday working again. I'm gonna heat up a slice of pizza. <laughs> I don't like cold pizza. Might be controversial, but really is how I feel. Oh, okay, Kiki. Hey, Kiki, taking a bite out of a slice. This is a vegan pepperoni, jalapeno, and pineapple pizza house. Don't know about y'all, but that's how we roll here. Boil it. It's my uh, pizza heat up method. No soggy microwave mess. And we're good to go. The closure um, from many other TikToks that have gone viral, and I just one of them that contributed to it. But I think he is going to be a very big up and coming horror writer, and I'm just glad to see more queer dark fiction just enter the, the mainstream and seeing so many people read it. And I think. Hi. I'm taking a break from work. I feel like. You, you have to see the proportions of this outfit a little bit differently because <sighs> shoulder up is not it. I feel like I look like a fryer from shoulder up, but I'm like giving oversized, okay? Like it looks cute in real life. And this is like a textured corduroy white shirt. It looks good. You gotta trust me on this. Um, it's 4 p.m. Taking a break from work. Hi. <laughs> I... I'm making a slice of toast for a snack. Exciting. Exciting. I am considering getting a toaster. I've been kind of known to be anti-toaster in the past because you can just like broil it in your oven and that's like a appliance you don't need, you know? But sometimes it takes a long time. And you have to flip it. Mm, I don't know. Remember to stretch, you guys. It feels really good. I also maybe feel like, in addition to a fryer, I look like Fran Ebowitz a little bit today. You should <coughs> see my pants. I had like Kelly Green socks on, pants. It was cute, trust me. I love that I bought a tripod yesterday because of Ben Green showing his outfits off but it's like the wrong dimensions. You still can't see full body. Uh, I'm gonna stop talking about my clothes now. We got the water bill, baby! Thank guy is gonna drill something. Wow, this new tripod is so good and stable. It's a joke, you guys, it's not. Last moment, these are without hardware alert. Not too wrong, but we do have hardware now. And they're like very shiny gold compared to the rest of our knobs, because our knobs are much older. They're brass and they'll like patina with age. See, like that one's a little fucked up and more brassy looking than gold. But it'll be good. Yes! Hey guys, anyone out there menstruating on this fine Thursday, January 6th? Let me know. Would love if the book tube is just linked up psychically. Um, inner emotional state, like, I don't know how it's going really. Does anyone feel that? 
definitely aligned to aforementioned. Aforementioned? Does that mean after? What does that mean before? A4. I can't remember right now. But um, it's due to my condition, as I just said. <laughs> you know, not feeling my best, but not feeling my worst. Cheese. Oh, the battery's dying. That's cool. I'm gonna have lunch and get back to you a little bit later with what I've been reading. Not to brag, but I found cookie dough in my freezer, bitches. And my friend Annie sent me a poster in the mail. You know I'm gonna get it framed, Annie. You know I'm gonna get it framed. She's definitely not watching this, but um, I will frame it. <laughs> and she sent me the sticker, which is fucking true, ain't it, mates? All right, this is my lunchtime break. Just wanted to show you that. Yeah, I got cookie dough. It's lunchtime again. Can you believe it? I went to the dentist this morning and they told me I have to get my wisdom teeth removed. Not sure if I believe them. Also gonna get, I'm also gonna get quoted through my insurance to see how much it'll cost, but it feels like a scam, honestly. Like, shouldn't you have caught this when I was 16, not almost 30? So that's not fun. And I don't like that. I'm trying to pick out a new novel to read. I have been reading. Um, I just finished Seeking You, Seeking You, a American exploration on loneliness, which was a graphic novel. Maybe one of the first graphic novels that I've read in probably 10 years. I read Ghost World when I was in high school. <laughs> it's probably the last one I read. I liked it, it was incredibly depressing. I liked the more personal narrative driven parts of the book that were examining the author's relationship to loneliness in her own friendships and family groups and marriage. Um, a lot of it was like scientific studies and pulling data from those as well, which was like kind of interesting, but kind of bland. And there was a section about animal testing on monkeys that was like extremely harrowing and I genuinely skipped past it because I couldn't read it and it was making me so depressed. So I just finished that and I finished another novel too. What did I read? Let me check my story graph. So impactful it was that I can't even remember it. Am I right? Let me check my story graph. Oh, Sorrow and Bliss by Meg Mason. I talked about that in my, in my last video. I finally finished that and I liked it a lot. It was a realistic portrayal of mental illness, I felt like. And I also liked its exploration around like alcohol dependency and alcoholism. I think the most unrealistic part of that job, that book was um, the mother quitting drinking just because her daughter asked her to. <laughs> um, but I liked the structure of it and the kind of really intimate inside look of how deeply that affects not only the person experiencing mental illness, but the people that care about them in their lives too. So it was good. And now I'm considering reading Sula by Toni Morrison because I kind of want to read something backlist. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I think Sola is calling my name. It's Friday. I have meetings from one to five. So I'm enjoying my last 30 minutes of not looking at a screen. By looking at my screen, but it's playing YouTube videos, you know, so it's okay. Hope everyone's doing well. Goodbye. We're going to a Goodwill to look for some used books. Hi guys, Sunday. 
We just did some things. What did we do? We went to a couple of Goodwills. We went to a couple of Goodwills where I was looking for books for Sunnies. I didn't find any, but we went to the Habitat for Humanity Restore in Gresham, which was very cool. Um, mostly like architectural salvage stuff, but they had books too. And I got Writers and Lovers and this book called Beyond Black and White out by Verso Press, blurred by Angela Davis. So what else do you need? Hi, Spud. How's it going? So full of a sandwich. And then we went to a Jewish vegan deli called Ben and Esther's that we've been wanting to go to for a while. Oh. And it was really good. Lots of sandwiches. Yeah, we had some big, big sandwiches on rye. <laughs> That's an important detail. The rye bread was bomb. I was like, damn, we should eat rye bread more. I'm in kind of a weird mood today, but I feel like I'm slowly getting out of it, which is good. Home for the rest of the day. Gonna do Sunday stuff. Probably keep reading Sula by Toni Morrison. I started that a couple nights ago. I'm like 100 pages in. I'm really liking it. Toni Morrison loves a fire metaphor. I will say that. Uh, let me show you this rug I got that I don't like. So I bought this rug on Etsy, it was vintage, came from Turkey. And I thought like, oh, we need a longer rug in here now to connect the two rooms, you know? But I don't think this is it. And I'm also like not really sure about the length. Um, I don't know. At first I liked that it was like a more muted pink and wasn't as patterned as the rug that was in here before, but it's so like nondescript looking now. It kind of looks like a, a ruggable to me. <laughs> like it doesn't look vintage, which is like fine if that's not your vibe, but the vibe in here is to have a vintage rug. And I was scared our other one, which was hiding in the corner there, was like a little too boho. But now I look at this one and I'm like, it's giving me nothing. It's giving me absolutely nothing. Let me give you like the pan away view of it. Like, I don't know. I just think the other one had more personality. I don't like it. I don't like it, guys. See, I like this rock more. Let's see if the laundry's done. Not done? No. Dang. I'll give it 20 more minutes. Okay. Why are you filming me? Why not? Because I have a stained shirt on. I'm in my sweatpants and Crocs. I don't have a hat on. Cindy, this is the real Kiki Alberts. Okay. Just so you guys don't think I'm... Come on, come on, baby. Focus on me. I'm exploiting Kiki. Here's my outfit, too. We got the cheetah pajama pants and the pajama shirt. I'm gonna take a bath. I just filmed my top books of 2021. Uh, kind of a little weird, but I don't know. We're just spicing it up for myself, you know? It's just how many wrap up videos can you do? One a month and one a year, apparently, but. Yeah, the new Euphoria episode comes out tonight. I think we might watch that. And then we also have the last season of Search Party to watch. Lots to juggle here. I don't really read in the bath. I like watching YouTube in the bath. So I'm not gonna get much reading done until bedtime. And I think Kiki's making spaghetti tonight, which sounds so good. I love me some spaghetti. I'm really liking Sula. I think I already told you that. But Toni Morrison is a god amongst men. Why do I even read anything that's not Toni Morrison? I don't know what's going on though right now. Oh, okay, bye. Kiki's haloing. We're actually just having leftover lemon chickpea orzo with roasted broccoli. And Kiki uh, burnt the bread. But I'm gonna have this bread and he's gonna have that bread. Not all of it. I mean, maybe all of it. We're also gonna watch the new Euphoria. I'll let you know how it went. You begging? You begging? 
morning. Monday morning again. We made it. I feel okay. Feel okay. I hope you feel okay. <laughs> I have a lot of meetings today. Like all my projects at work right now are just kicking off. So they all require a lot of attention and a lot of meetings. I mean, every day requires a lot of meetings working remotely, but feels pretty gnarly. Last week and this week. We also have a landscaping company coming to the house, which is exciting because to be honest, we let the yard go to shit last year. I don't know why. We just like were not doing lawn care maintenance. Not that we have like a big lawn, but we weren't like weeding. We weren't taking care of our trees. We weren't taking care of our rhododendras. And it kind of got out of hand and now the whole yard looks like shit. Like the front yard, our little side patio, the backyard. And I just wanted to get more, I wanted some TLC into it, you know what I mean? And Kiki only has so many hours in the day and I'm not really a yard care kind of lad, except for raking leaves and like planting our vegetable raised beds and taking care of those. So as far as my Christmas gift to myself, we're gonna have a yard guy start coming. It's cool, thanks Johnny been here before to print our trees. Really exciting updates, you guys. Uh, yeah, I hope everyone has a good work week. It's a hard transition, isn't it? Oh. Ooh. Me and Kiki are like now more than ever fantasizing about buying a second house in Arizona and being snowbirds. I gotta calm down, you guys. I don't have any money. Bye. Hi, it's still Monday, but I got some book mail. I got some book mail. Hi, Kiki. 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 Hi, Kiki
he like contributed to the moth and has done like a bunch of other speaking classes and like engagement stuff like that so that was cool and fun uh i don't know if you guys noticed but i'm pretty annoying so i am comfortable with public speaking uh don't really feel like i'm shy so <laughs> for better or for war worse that was my disposition going in um but we do have a lot of shy shyer people in my studio so i don't know i hope that was helpful for them kind of weird to be doing improv as an adult but what are you gonna do uh i'm still reading um sula by tony morrison and i still freaking love it the smartest person the chapters in sula are kind of dictated by year so there's a lot of passing of time throughout the short little book of sula and what is the other name? Nell? I believe it's Nell is Sula's friend and their friendship and how that evolves. And I think Toni Morrison is just the best. I don't have anything smart or cool to say about her. She's just the best. Uh, I feel good today. I feel good today. I hope you feel good today. Me and the book hotties are fighting about I love you, but I've chosen darkness in our group chat. As we know, one of my favorite books of last year. It's really special. Uh, a couple of them think it was a disjointed reading experience. But I think that was the point. Um, I don't know why I'm going so hard to bat for that book. But I'm like, oh, I loved it. You guys have to love it and see the genius. <laughs> so that's a thing. We are also talking about the new Yanni Gahara book and all of the criticism surrounding that. If you follow any authors on Twitter and they are very vaguely referencing a po problematic book or a new release that they didn't like, it's about uh, Two Paradise. <laughs> Absolutely. It's about Two Paradise. Uh, not even that thinly disguised anymore. I'm not gonna be reading it not because of the controversy surrounding it, but I think it does bring up a lot of kind of continued discourse around ethical storytelling, who's allowed to tell what story, uh, identity politics and fiction, and what's responsible for a writer to put out in the world, which are conversations that I'm into, but I'm not going to be reading this book because it doesn't sound interesting to me despite all of that Ugh, hot having another burrito i feel like i've just talked to you from my kitchen all week i hope that's okay i'm pretty busy at work feels really full on again i think i said this yesterday so i won't repeat myself but i'm launching a bunch of new projects at work I have two direct reports now. Can you imagine me as your boss? Absolutely wild. Um, <laughs> feels weird. Both of my direct reports too are older than me, which also feels a little weird. But I'm trying not to like take away from my own accomplishments of me being in a managerial position at a young age because I've earnestly worked hard to get here and have prioritized career growth in the pandemic. Somehow, some way, baby. Those are a couple of thoughts. I've been talking for five minutes. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because the whole theme was like getting back to work, right? And we're back to work. We're in week two, middle of week two. Uh, let me know what you've been reading. I'm curious would love to know and i hope your reading year is going well i don't think i'm gonna do like a sit down intention -y video for my 22 20 2022 reading goals um but i will say my goal is to read less books than i did last year <laughs> read 100 books last year i only want to read 50 this year it's okay if i don't even reach that and i want to watch more movies 
Oh, I forgot to tell you about a movie I watched called Swan Song. Uh, it follows a aging gay man who is in a elderly community care home and he escapes the home in order to do his client's hair for her funeral. She's died and um, that was like written into her will that he was requested. It was really campy and like surreal and almost bad, like almost B-movie bad at times, but it worked for me. At the same time, the lead character in it is like an old German, I believe, Bond villain, which is funny. And he seems like a really great character actor. And there's some like really sentimental, sweet moments of this film. Weird, tiny little indie film with like some of the most bizarre editing choices I've ever seen. Uh, Kiki hated it, but it worked for me for some reason. So if you want to watch like a quick movie, I think it was like an hour and a half long. I would recommend that. And I'm also finishing up the last season of Search Party right now. Ugh, I'm so sad it's the last season. I love that show. I love Aaliyah Shawkat. I think it's just so well done and funny. And then we watched Euphoria, of course, like everyone else. Uh, if you have any Fezco related memes or TikTok, send them my way. I will watch them and laugh. Okay. Love you guys.